this is Tony Marjota, and you're watching Gladiator Wine TV. Today, I'm going to introduce to you another wine that's in the Gladiator Wine portfolio. This is a Negro Amaro from Puglia. Uh, the producer is the Atanasio family. They've been in Puglia producing Negro Amaro and Primitivo wines uh, for the last uh, three generations. Negro Amaro is a native grape to the region of Puglia. And Puglia is the little heel. If you look at the map of Italy, it's the heel of the Italian boot. That's where this wine comes from. Negro Amaro is one of the oldest grapes in all of Italy. We're looking at about 2,700 years of history. The Salento section, uh, which is the bottom tip of the heel of the boot, is where the best terroir is, the best soil and climate for this grape, the Negro Amaro. Most likely, the ancient Greeks uh, brought this grape to the peninsula, the Salento Peninsula, about 2,700 years ago. What does this wine taste like? Um, one thing you're gonna notice, and I'm gonna pour uh, a glass in a second, um, as soon as the wine comes out, you start to smell this incredible aroma. It's a very aromatic wine. Um, you get a little bit of honey on the nose, and you get some dark fruits that but mature, not those sour blackberries that we're used to in the States, but just imagine um, a sweeter type of blackberry, very mature. Negro Amaro, when it's done right, is very aromatic. Its flavor, which tastes like, same deal. You're not going to get the honey though. You're going to get dark fruits on the palate as soon as it hits your mouth. There's not going to be anything sour in this wine. Um, I think we've gotten so used to drinking all these sour note red wines that um, we don't know what's out there. And the key is having a small producer, a producer who spends the time in the vineyard and takes care of it and picks the grape at the right moment of maturity. This is a big difference between a small producer and a big producer and only allow the healthy grapes to enter the wine cellar for uh, making wine. So now we're going to pour the uh, Negro Amaro into the glass so you can take a look at its color. And I got to tell you, when I'm pouring this wine, the aroma just jumps out of this wine. It's incredible. It, it makes your mouth water. Let's go for the sip. This is exactly um, the type of wine that I will order when I'm in Puglia. When I go to any of the restaurants, this is exactly what I drink. It's that wine that we had in Italy that was so great, but when we get back to the States, we can't find anything like it. That's what this wine is. So what does this Negro Amaro pair well with? Well, it works really well with dark meats. It works great with cheeses. You can even get away with some spicy foods with this and any red sauce. It doesn't matter whether there's meat in it or not. This is a very flexible wine. It doesn't have a, a dominating personality, so it pairs well with just about anything. So if you like drinking dry red wines with no sour notes, this is gonna be a great everyday drinking wine for you. So, Negro Amaro. Until next time, I'm Tony Marjota, and you're watching Gladiator Wine TV.